Leave Love Maternity was kind enough to reach out and send me over these maternity pillows and I'm so happy that they did because I used those big bulky maternity pillow the last time I was pregnant and I hated it. I honestly didn't really use it that much. Um, so I haven't been using any maternity pillows this time around and I'm so glad to have discovered this one. I have been sleeping way more comfortably since I've gotten this pillow and it does come with this little baby pillow and you can put it in between your legs or you can stick it by your belly for even more support underneath the belly or if you are feeling like you need more support on your back you can go ahead and put it towards your back there is also a full body attachment that you easily can put on and you can use this for extra back support to prevent you from rolling over onto your back. Or you can use this for extra bump support and you can put it in between your legs as well. I cannot express how much more comfortable I am able to sleep since having these pillows. It's been a lifesaver. So this pillow relieves pressure on bump and back. It's adjustable length for perfect support, easy to switch sides, cool and breathable, travel and cuddle friendly and there is a 90 day risk free trial. I'm just showing you how easily this pillow makes it to roll from side to side because before it was such a struggle to do so and it took way longer than this to roll over. <laughs> Okay, so while you're on the website looking at the pillow, they also have leggings. And here's my little friend with me. <laughs> um, but these leggings are super soft and they provide the right amount of support. Let's see, nice and stretchy. And you can even wear these after you are pregnant. So you will get your money's worth. They do feel like a very nice pair of workout yeah. leggings. Like, <laughs> I would definitely wear these to the gym, but also I would wear them out and about to do my uh, errands or if you have a nice dress maternity shirt and throw it on on top of this and then nice pair of leggings. They have a little pocket on both sides they do. These do not attract dog or any animal hair. So if a dog, cat, whatever animal, they won't, their hairs won't be sticking to the leggings. And also another thing we love is they're not see-through. So they're squat proof. If you're doing some squats or if you're just gonna bend over, if you're just gonna bend over, you're not gonna see anything. <laughs> Say no see-through here. <laughs> We love that. So make sure you check out these super comfortable maternity leggings. Like I can't even tell I have them on. They are so comfortable. Like they feel like they are a part of me. If that makes sense. <laughs> but yes, I will wear these also post pregnancy. Since we didn't get to celebrate Alex's 30th birthday, really, and I had all these decorations for the day, um, we decorated today for it. You like it? It's for Daddy. You like it? It's for Daddy. Yeah. Say, Daddy's 30. Daddy's 30. Yep. <laughs> Cheers. 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 <laughs>
While we were sleeping, Alex put this cubby storage together so I could start organizing Abby's toys better. And he also put the baby's bassinet together. And isn't the crib sheet so cute? Um, I went with this bassinet. It's not too expensive because they're only in it for a few months. And it does sway like this side to side. But no snoo here because they're $1,700. So hopefully this works good enough. I got a bunch of different baby bottles to try so I didn't go like too crazy with them because I'm not sure what she's going to like. So I'm starting the process of sanitizing all the bottles and getting things ready for her. But just showing you guys some of the bottles I went with. This one I read people either like it or hate it. So we'll see what happens with these. Um, these, Abby had these when she was a baby. She wasn't picky at all when she was a baby. She would literally, like, take any bottle or pacifier. So. And then here's different pacifiers I got to try for baby. Again, I didn't buy too many because I'm going to see what she likes and go from there. I got this breast pump to try. I'm still going to use my Medela as well, but this looks like it'll make it easy like when you're in the car or you're trying to get things done around the house so you can move around more. So I will update on how these worked for me. Can you give me toilet paper? For what? To pick up some of this shit. <laughs> She's going to get you a towel, she said. Rocco. Mom. Mom. Dad. How are you going to know? It doesn't work. <laughs> Is there a power button? Mom. Wait to her. Don't plug in. Wait, the light works. I think you have to do it. No. Is it oh, is that going by? I thought Abby was touching. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> is it moving by itself? Yeah, Abby, who's going to go in here? Who's going to, not you, no. Who's going to go in here? Baby? Baby. Ooh. <laughs> Baby, Baby. Baby's who? Sister? Oh, look, the light goes up. Speed. Let's do two. Let's see how fast it goes up. Will. Fast you want it to go. That's just so I can control it from my phone. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I don't have to do it right this minute. I suppose you the manual pull. The king. No, I can't with these dogs. I normally sleep on this side of the bed, but we can't put the bassinet there because the heater is here. So we're switching sides of beds when baby comes. It's not yours. Oh boy. Okay, so I just left um a quick two week regular checkup appointment at the OBGYN. Mm -hmm. My makeup's all messed up for me blowing my nose, so <laughs> it's always something with my makeup and my nose. So she listened to uh, Baby's Heart and she fell around where the head was, so she still didn't flip over. And I have my ultrasound next Friday, so we'll see. And I'll keep doing my stretches and everything I've been doing to try to get her to flip. And we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed, because don't want to do the things that you have to do to flip her okay the sun's just all over the place and i don't know um 
<laughs> so just to fill in on more things going on, not sleeping good at night. I keep waking up in the middle of the night for like two hours and just lying there and can't go back to sleep. And I think it's because I'm just having so much anxiety thinking about everything that's to come and how much our lives are going to change in a few weeks. Like right now, it's just the three of us and soon everything is going to be different and it won't be just the three of us anymore. And it's not to say I'm not excited, but it's nerve wracking because I don't know how Abby's going to take all these adjustments and it's a lot and I'm just worried about everything. Even like going into labor, I'm worried about things happening because I didn't have a good experience the first time. So I'm worried about that and just a lot on my mind. I've been doing my best to uh, play with Abby and just enjoy the last few weeks of it just being us and Abby. Um, but like I can only get down on the floor and play so much cause like then it starts to hurt like my back or something and I gotta get up. So that really sucks cause like I want to soak up every single moment that I have of her being the only child in the house before the baby comes along. Only time will tell how this is all gonna go and I don't know, I'm just stressing. Abby also has a cardiologist appointment coming up in two weeks. So another thing that I'm stressing out about because those appointments stress me out so much. So just wanna get that over with. Yeah, just so much going on and so much going on in my mind. And I don't know, because I just take literally every day, day by day, minute by minute, because I cannot put myself in the position to like picture things how they should be. I can't do it after everything that happened. So, um, but yeah, coming down to the last few weeks, because tomorrow I am 35 weeks. <sighs> And it's hitting me like a truck that this is happening. But we've been doing a lot, getting a lot done for baby. And I don't even know what to say because I'm just worried and yeah, I don't know. So I'm 35 weeks today, so I'm just gonna start packing my hospital bag. And I got these packing cubes off of Amazon. And, and I'm gonna make a whole video of what's in my hospital bag, but starting the process of packing. Hello, love you. Hi Nacho, love you. <laughs> what's he doing? Bad boy. Bad boy. Yeah. Yeah. Are you putting it together? You're so smart. You know where it goes? <laughs> You're so smart. Is that what the baby's gonna do? All right, we got it together. It's so cute. Here's the picture of it. Okay. It's also reversible too, and there's a flower pattern here it is and also easy to fold up and put away a lot of the things i got this time i wanted to be able to store them easily because we don't have a lot of room here so that's why i went with this one Into your driveway, it's a Saturday night You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, that's your problem 
problems away I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much 